years ago, people ignored a lot about how nature works. They explained natural phenomena through some myths and fiction. For example, the Greeks used to believe that lightnings and storms were sort of just weapons. Well, that sounds cool. However, scientifically speaking, lightnings are actually more related to static electricity, which is even cooler. Well, since all things are made up of positively charged protons, neutral neutrons, and negatively charged electrons, static electricity is omnipresent. Normally, opposite charges in an object are equal, so objects are neutral. In fact, static electricity happens when there is an imbalance between those charges. In this case, the additional charges build up on the surface of the objects until they find a way to be released, and one way to discharge them is through a circuit. Indeed, Lightnings are typically static electricity happening within much bigger dimensions. During a storm, somehow, particles inside the storm clouds cause an increase of charge imbalance. Usually, negative charges move to the lower reaches of the clouds, positive charges go to the top. As a result, and like similar charges repel each other, objects on the ground like trees, buildings and us become positively charged. Now in the early stages of development, Air acts as an insulator between charged areas, but when opposite charges build up sufficiently, that air capacity breaks down, and according to static electricity, the epic thunderbolt struck and cured the imbalance by releasing the charges. As you might guess, a thunderbolt is very hot. It can heat up the air to around 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Can you imagine how hot is that? Well, that heat causes the air to rapidly expand, creating a very loud, sometimes scary sound wave that we know as thunder. Now, what if I tell you that I can make a lightning simulation just by bringing an old invention back to life? Well, this is the Leyden jar. It is an old version of a capacitor and it can store static electricity. You can make one just by using some aluminum foil, salted water, a nail and the conducting wire. In order to charge the Leyden jar, rub a wool scarf against a PVC pipe to incite its molecules to snatch electrons from the wool, so they become negatively charged. And then put those charges into the jar like that. Now we should discharge our Leyden jar. The fun fact about lightnings is that large ones are able to produce other beautiful electrical phenomena called transient luminous events. They occur high in the atmosphere and are hardly seen visually. Red sprites, blue jets and elves are the most common ones. What a fascinating masterpiece we happen to be living in.